In this video, we will look at rationalizing denominators that have a binomial in the denominator. First, let's notice what does not work. We can't simply multiply by the square root because we would be forced to distribute it, and so we would have a 2 root 3 in the denominator, and that would not accomplish our goal. However, you may recall we have a property that says we can multiply 2 root 3 by something that gets rid of the root. You may recall this would be 2 minus the square root of 3. By multiplying by the conjugate, we would have 2 times 2, which is 4. Positive times a negative is negative. 3 times 3 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Notice 4 minus 3 is 1, and we've now cleared the square root by multiplying by the conjugate. Let's take a look at some examples where we multiply by the conjugate in order to clear the radical in the binomial denominator. Here again, we've got a binomial 5 minus the square root of 3, and so we will multiply by the conjugate, which is 5 plus the square root of 3 on the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, we simply have to distribute. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 6 root 3. In the denominator, because they're conjugates, we can multiply the first term, 5 times 5 is 25, and the last term, root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which is just 3. Remember, we're subtracting because we have a positive times a negative. 25 minus 3 is 22. Before we're allowed to reduce this fraction, we must first factor the numerator. Factoring out a 6, we're left with 5 plus the square root of 3 over 22. And now we can reduce the 6 and 22 because they're factors by dividing by 2, leaving behind 3 and 11. So for our final answer, we have 3 times 5 plus the square root of 3 over 11. You could also distribute the 3 through in the numerator and get the same equivalent solution. Let's try another problem where we have to multiply by the conjugate in order to simplify the expression. Here we have 4 plus 2 root 2. The conjugate will be exactly the same with subtraction. 4 minus 2 root 2 in the numerator and denominator. Let's focus for a moment on the numerator. We must FOIL 3 times 4 is 12, minus 6 root 2, minus 20 root 2, plus 10 root 4. Let's simplify this before we look at the denominator. The square root of 4 is 2, and so now we've got 12 minus 6 root 2, minus 20 root 2, plus 20. When we try and combine like terms, 12 plus 20 is 32, and 6 root 2 minus 20 root 2 is minus 26 root 2. And this is going to be over our denominator. Let's take a look at our denominator. Multiplying the conjugate, 4 times 4 is 16, keeping it separate here. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and then when we multiply the square roots, 2 times 2 is also 4, but the square root of this is 2. This means we have 16 minus 4 times 2, or 8, and 16 minus 8 is simply 8. Before we can reduce this fraction, though, we must first factor. Numerator has a factor of 2 in common, leaving behind 16 minus 13 root 2 over 4. I'm sorry, over 8. Now we can divide out the common factor of 2, and we're left with 16 minus 13 root 2 over 4 for our final solution. We can rationalize denominators if there's a binomial, any adding or subtracting, by multiplying by the conjugate.